this is my channel DS Machine Parts, Modern Crafting with Technic and Machines. Hi! Welcome to this episode of Let's Build. Today I will show you some insights how I build me a cheap and easy BT30 tool holder rack. First of all I had to clean up the room for the rack. The rack will be placed right beside my DIY CNC milling machine. In this area there is also the electrical cabinet and a pneumatic cabinet mounted to the wall. I'm also working on some 3D printed tool holders for the CNC control box. You can see there the first 4 tool holders. I will make there an area with space for up to 10 or 12 tools. For every project I can put the necessary tools in this area. Now it's time to mark the bore spots of the rack bars. The rack will have 3 bars with 6 bores each. To drill the holes I use a middle big hammer drill with a 6mm drill. The dowels are also 6mm. The rack will have 5 areas. 3 for BT30 tool holder and 2 one for different equipment like a clamp stop or some clamps. I use 12 mm thick plywood. After mounting the rack bars to the wall it's time to finish the plywood plates. First of all I mark 3 slots for the bar holders. I used a piece of wood that's laying around in my shop and four clamps as a guide. But this doesn't worked out really good. The router swifted a bit, not a big deal for this project but I switched then to a saw guide. This works much better.
I've machined them with my small hand router and a 6mm flat end mill. After machining the slots I marked all tool holder spots. Every one of these three tool holder racks will give me space for 22 tools. All over I can then store 66 tools. I drilled all the holes for the tools with my table drill and a 35mm Forstner bit. After drilling all these 66 holes with the table drill I switched back to my mobile workbench and used my hand router and a chamfering tool to chamfer all edges of the plywood plates. After chamfering I use my hand grinder to grind off the top surface.
So this is my cheap BT30 tool rack with two areas for clamp stops and other things I need in this area. All about this build cost me around 40 bucks. I have a future plan for a more industrial rack build but for now this will work out really good for me. I hope you enjoy this episode, I would be proud if you leave a comment and a thumb up. You can be sure, the next video will also be awesome, so stay connected with a subscription. See you soon.